those mysterious attacks on our power grid that we've all been hearing about lately. What is really going on? Maybe there's something more sinister going on behind the scenes. Why are all these different extremists are targeting our power grid here in this country? There's been a string of mysterious attacks on the power stations across the United States. And it has rekindled fears about the vulnerabilities of America's electric power grid in which me and you rely on power on a daily basis for our families to survive. And security officials have warned that there is a growing target with these extremists and people that just want to sabotage our power grid. The attacks, really mysterious activities at these U.S. power stations has reached a decade-long high over the last year, with more than 100 reported incidents in the first eight months of last year. Department of Energy's most recent data does show that through August of last year, there have been at least 18 more public reported attacks or potential attacks on substations and power plants in Florida, North Carolina, Oregon, South Carolina, and Washington State. The tally includes at least a half dozen at Duke Energy facilities here in Florida and at least six others on electrical substations in the Pacific Northwest. In November and December of last year. What is really taking place with these mysterious attacks? The mysterious attack on Thanksgiving, two intruders cut through a fence at a substation in Oregon and used firearms to shoot up and disable numerous pieces of equipment and cause significant damage. And the most high recent profile case that we've all heard about. The intruders breached the gates and opened fire on two Duke Energy substations in Moore County, North Carolina in early December. We all remember that. Damaging power equipment and local authorities called a target attack that cut off power for more than 50,000 people. These mysterious attacks and these different type of suspicious activities are only growing worse. It is not clear who is behind all this, but the surge has alarmed federal officials and security analysts who warned last year of credible threats and plans by these violent domestic groups to attack our power grid. Our power grid just sets out there and is wide open and it is for anybody's taking. Some of these don't have cameras. They may have fences, but they can cut through them. They're using firearms so they could shoot for long distance and destroy these power grids and put all of us in the dark. It's a very easy target. These extremist social media platforms and messaging apps are loaded with all these different types of Things And because they're not being able to find anybody, blame anybody, arrest anybody, it's only making them grow more because they have found the weak link in the system to bring down the power grid here in America. Now officials say the rise in incidents suggests that the predators may be drawing inspiration from one another fine-tuning those strategies to pursue potential more damaging copyright attacks. They all want to be famous. Each incident and each suspect that escapes undetected further deepens these groups to perform these mysterious power grid attacks and target us here. Domestic terror groups understand that citizens losing power 
From sabotage is an easy way to receive media attention, which they crave, but they're not getting caught. The FBI, Homeland Security, all these different agencies are trying to figure out who's doing this, who's responsible, and they have done it with fail. They can't find any of these people that are responsible. The motivation and methods of the recent attacks vary. Some of these predators may have been seeking money, not mayhem. Federal authorities say that the attacks on four substations in western Washington state on Christmas Day, which left more than 15,000 residents in the dark, by two men seeking to knock out power so they could commit robbery. Moral of the story here, folks. A lot of different people are looking to attack our power grid. Now is a good time to think about what are you going to do if this attack comes from within, not from somewhere overseas, not a cyber attack. This is people on the ground here in this country. They probably came across. They could have come across on the border, undetected, let go to run free in the country, and now... They are here with a mission to slowly start taking out the power grid. Because see, when the power grid is down, alarms are down. Your cameras around your house don't work. You have no alarm systems if somebody's trying to break into your home. There's nothing you have at that point in time. So now is a good time to try to get ready to be prepped and try to ensure that you have the proper equipment to maybe power your house, power your important things around your house that you need, battery banks, generators, all these different types of things are things that you can purchase and be prepared for when these mysterious attacks on your power grid in your local area comes to town because folks it is really happening and we have to make sure we're heeding the warning and getting prepared now because they haven't found who's responsible and until they do it's only going to get worse and worse until they up the security around these areas of our power grids that set out in the middle of nowhere sometimes, we have to make sure we're taking the steps to ensure our family will be safe. I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Thank you for joining me on this video today. These mysterious attacks on our power grid are a very serious thing and everybody needs to get prepared. Till next time, I'll catch all of you on the flip side.